What's up, fellow gamers? This is Winch here, bringing you a little break from Battlefield uh, genre to introduce you to a game called Dust 514. And what is Dust 514? Well, in this video, I'm going to try to uh, attempt to shed some light on this uh, complex, strange, and innovative game. And to say it's innovative would be a massive understatement. This game actually goes where no other game in history has gone before that I know of. It integrates multiple platforms and that being it integrates the PlayStation 3 with the PC in real time in actual in-game uh, cross-play action. Can you even wrap your mind around that concept? When I first heard about it, and this game has been out, this is still in beta testing, when I first heard about that I, I, I'm like are you kidding me? Are they really trying to actually accomplish that? I mean how do you technologically even achieve such a feat? And that's something I think all of us, I don't care what uh, fanboy you are, uh, all of us would love to embrace that kind of uh, concept. I mean, that's, that's always something we've said, whether you play Battlefield, Call of Duty. I want to play against PC guys. I, I want to play against Xbox guys on my PlayStation. Well, that's what they've done here with this game. And how they've done it, if those of you are familiar with the EVE, or EV, I, I'm not really sure exactly how it's pronounced, but... There's a game on PC called EVE Online, EVE, -E, and it's basically a massive, massive multiplayer game where you can do anything from space combat to like space uh, simulator combat uh, to it's like a role playing type of, type of game where you can practice diplomatic uh, uh, attacks or diplomacy with uh, other factions, and it's all up in space. It's this huge, massive game, and. Uh, <laughs> Let me go up and show you some gameplay here. Uh, uh, getting warmed up in this little uh, Jeep vehicle. It's kind of humorous as, a, as I get in here, start driving around and uh, getting the feel for how this thing runs. And there's an enemy one. We go head to head. And uh, yeah, there's no. Uh, if you run into another player's Jeep, that's game over for you. Uh, but so what they're doing here is they're integrating this Eve massive multiplayer, hugely successful franchise on PC with the PlayStation 3. And what the PlayStation 3 side of it is Dust 514 is on every planet that's contested in the space side and EVE Online, you are the ground infantry and that's the only side that the PlayStation 3 side can uh, can control is the first person shooter side of it. So you're basically the little ants in this huge war going on above you in space and how it works is how the PC kind of integrates is you choose a faction, you have a direct control over how how battles and how planets are, are won on the ground, so to say, on each planet. And the PC can actually interact with you in real time by pulling in a massive spaceship overhead in, in space on orbit on these contested planets and call in air support. And they basically do orbital strikes. And the reason why this video is so long is because in the last half of this video, I'm just going to show you gameplay from the very first match I got in here since the latest build. And uh, I am very disappointed to tell you, and I'm sorry, uh, that I failed to capture the audio portion of the squad comp and I'll tell you what guys I'm, I'm very upset about this because I hopped in there and from the very moment look at all these players What is this plant side to uh, from the very moment I, I hopped in that lobby uh, immediately people were asking okay who's the ground commander okay what squad's gonna go to position alpha what, what squad's going to position bravo and I'm sitting there I'm sitting beside myself I'm like I play battlefield 3 and I don't hear this level of organization and as, as you saw in the very first clip I showed you in this video, all the players standing around kind of, that, that's a moment before the battle where you can set up your, uh, the last minute changes of your, uh, your unit. Look at all these players. 16 players per side, by the way. I think 32 is a max right now. Of course, this is a beta. It might be more later on. Uh, so we're all sitting in there, and it's like you can see the guy talking, and, and they're all trying to coordinate. And everybody's got a mic on, which, I mean, how many platforms does that ever happen on? And everybody's talking. I get in this map, this uh, match at the very end. I'll show you highlights from. And it's like instant communication. It was so exciting. I mean, uh, hearing everybody talk and, and work in unison. And these are all randoms. I couldn't believe that the uh, the teamwork aspect of. It. I honestly, I've never seen it in any kind of game I've ever played before. Uh, I don't know if it's just a random fluke or what. But I was really excited about it, and I was hoping to, to capture that. And, and I'm sorry. You will see the highlights from the visual reel. You can see kind of maybe you can discern what's going on, but it gives you a good feel what the gameplay encompasses. Everything uh, from medics to heavy infantry, all that stuff. Uh, here, right 
getting back to the gameplay, uh, I've got a lot of information to try to cover this one video, but this is like a respawn beacon if, you know, if you're familiar with Battlefield 3. So that team where you saw on that hill with all those players, they're all spawn on that beacon. I'm like, oh shit, here comes a tank and I'm a complete noob at this game, guys, so I'm literally just playing with a default loadout class and I can't hold a candle to these players that have actually uh, upgraded their units. Here's a guy taking me out with a laser beam. I'm like, game over there. This is cool. I'm spawning in the like the spawn ship, the, the mothership. And what this game mode is here is you basically got two ships, your ship and the enemy opponent ship up there in the air. That's me spawning in. That's pretty neat animation. I like that. And the objective is basically capture the, the three positions that have big turrets on them that do damage to the other player's ship that, or from the ground to the other player's ship. So it's basically like domination. Here I am getting in a gunner turret on tank. I'm like, oh yeah, man, it's on. But you just don't spawn into these things. It's not like Battlefield. You actually have to unlock your your player. There's an incredible amount of depth to this game in terms of... It's like a role-playing game in a lot of ways and a first-person shooter. You have to upgrade your unit um, in order to be able to drive tanks so you can call in the tank. You even have to upgrade the, the ability to call in stuff. Uh, so how you upgrade all that stuff is through experience points. Um, and like all free-to-play games, this is a free-to-play game. I've failed to mention that. How long are we in this video? Free to play game, uh, like all of them nowadays, you can either buy experience with real money or you can earn it by just playing the game. And there's experience points like ISK, I think is what they are, it's like the blue uh, experience. And there we are as soon as we get in it, get taken out. Oh, and here right, this moment, th this is the kind of stuff you can expect. Here, This is a heavy infantry here. Here I am doing multiple melee strikes on him, putting a full ammo clip in him, but he just turns around. You cannot kill these guys, they're like walking tanks. But that's a classic example of which, what you're dealing with in this game. You can't just hop in and, and there is a learning curve. You have to understand what units do what. You have to understand how to upgrade your unit. You have to understand what battles you can win, what you can't. What limitations are of your weaponry, what the, the strengths are of your opponent. There he is just turning around, one grenade. He's like, no, don't, don't, you don't screw with me, buddy. Have you not learned your lesson? Apparently not. Um, so here's kind of the introduction to how you unlock all that stuff. There's there's skill trees, again, there's loadouts on your player, and it's not like Battlefield, it's like, I mean, it's like a role-playing game is the way you're looking at. Here I am going into the, uh, the assault rifle operation, because you know me, I always like to run with assault rifles. Unlocking that, then this is kind of like your Merc headquarters, where you where you can outfit your character, you can outfit your, your vehicles. There's ground vehicles, there's air vehicles in this game. Um, and uh, this is a market right here as I'm going through and I'm going to actually buy something. Now you see the 40,000 AUR, that's like actual real money. I think that's like $20. And I, I bought that a long time ago and it transferred through all the, the betas. Again, this is still currently beta, but I think it's slated to finally be released this year. And this is like one of the only few games that you've been allowed to play the beta for months and months and months. I don't know, it was like a year it's been in beta, I think. They've really tried to put some time in this game. It's come a long way in terms of the graphics and all that stuff. But uh, uh, as you can see here, I'm, I'm going through the list of weapons and there's a lot of weapons. This is just the assault weapons. I think and they're the standard, I think there's like a gauze assault rifle. I mean, you know, there's multiple weapons. You can see the description, you can see the attributes. So I'm going through here, I'm trying to pick a gun and select something I think I'll like. I always like single fire high damage guns. So I found one of those that does like 65 damage and uh, has a good clip size so I was like I'll try that out then I hop into an instant action game which is like team deathmatch essentially to uh, try it out now you see unlike any other game when you buy a gun in your equipment um, and you you uh, equip it on your your frame or your uh, player whatever frame that is uh, you can be a sniper class you can be a heavy assault you can be an engineer you can be a medic just kind of like battlefield 3 but that's a finite uh, items. So I just bought five of those at 17,000 ISK a piece. So I just dropped, I don't know, 60, 70 grand on that thing. And uh, again, that's just experience you get every match that you play. You'll see at the end of this game, as I do terrible, I go like one and four. Um, but you'll see at the end of the game that I get those experience points back. I think I get like 120,000. So it's not like I just blew all my money. I actually got reimbursed for that. You get reimbursed the more you play, just like anything. The longer you play, the more you're rewarded. But you can see the attributes here. Look at all the, uh, this is loading up your player. I'm trying to equip this gun that I just got. But there's multiple slots. There's all these little pieces of equipment do different things. It takes a lot of time to get understanding this stuff. And again, I don't know practically anything about it. 
if I just equip this gun and then I find out that I basically overloaded my unit, they call it the CPU. If you overload your CPU, that's an invalid loadout. You can't exceed the CPU. And I think that's that number down the lower right. I'm at 27 out of 26 is a max, something like that. It's either the CPU or energy. Again, it's complex. But once you understand it, what I did is just made a last minute change to my sidearm and uh, it made it valid. Um, but once you understand this stuff, you can have a lot of fun playing this game. And like I said, from this gameplay I'll show you at the end, these guys were more experienced players. And I, I just hearing them on, on, the, uh, on the communication side of it, I mean, they were really into it. It was a very tight match at the very end where our, our ship and mothership was about to get destroyed and so was theirs. And we're calling in orbital strikes and everybody's trying to work in unison to... to uh, stem the enemy's onslaught to either position and I mean it was like it was really refreshing to hear uh, everybody's excitement about this game they were really having fun with it now you ask yourself okay Winshire well you know why aren't you playing this game all the time well I, again the latest build just came out a few days ago which they've kept they released this beta in versions of builds there's I've been out now half a dozen of them so this is a final one prior to the game's release this month and it, I've seen this is where I've seen the most improvement but the reason why I haven't posted videos about it in the past is they've had copyright issues or or, or uh, confidentiality issues. Uh, and now they've 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 uh, I think they've uplifted those finally. But well, obviously they have because I'm putting this video up. Uh, but honestly, for those of you that are hardcore first-person shooters like myself, you're going to find. And again, I'm, this is still in beta. Maybe with the final game's release, it will be most most improved. But again, this is I think we're just days away from that now. But to be frank with you, the, the shooting mechanics of the game aren't that tight. As you can see there, it's very cumbersome for me to turn around very slow. I don't. I need to check my sensitivity. I may not have it up all the way. But here's that new gun too. Obviously, it comes with kind of like a, a red dot sight. Um, but uh, to be honest with you, it, you'll see frame rate issues. You'll see hit detection issues uh, a lot of times. And uh, again, coming from a shooter like Battlefield 3 or if you're coming from COD, you're used to those tight hit detection I mean that's what you do that's what you play but what I'm finding myself doing with with this game and my experiences is, is that it's not that great of an actual shooter um, in terms of what I'm used to but that's not all this game's about and that's when I play it more that's what I start to realize it's more about the teamwork aspect it's more about the depth of your character obviously the integration between the console the PC uh, the Eve universe all that stuff so it brings a lot to the table we haven't seen before but what it's suppo expressly supposed to do here, as a first-person shooter, it's a bit weak on, in my experience. Um, here's the, uh, there's me getting 164,000 experience here at the end. So basically, I, I doubled what I invested going into this match because I, I went through, I think, four of those guns that I bought. There's my .25 KD. Um, but uh, anyway, this game brings stuff to the table, guys. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm saying it's worth looking into. It's, it's a curious game. Let me know if you want to see more gameplay. Um, obviously, as I get more experience with the game, I can bring you better gameplay. Um, check, go on YouTube. You can check out the trailers for it. The trailers look pretty cool. But this is that game. I'll just get a sign off here in a moment. You can just watch the gameplay. And I can apologize for not... Just, just try to imagine all the squad comms going on. Because it was going on all the time through this game. Everybody. All 32 players. 16 on our side. Excuse me. We're, we're talking all the time. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe again. Let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm going to sign off here. You can just watch this gameplay uh, unfold and you can see how close of a match it is. Try to pay attention to the damage on the enemy ships and uh, where we're going. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Objective A hacked. Virus upload in progress.
Shield damage, 50%. Objective A. Virus upload complete. Null cannon targeting hostile MCC.
Objective B. Hacked. Virus upload in progress.
Objective A hacked. Virus upload in progress. Damage 50%. Mission accomplished. Hostile MCC destroyed. Area secured. 